Hello. Welcome back. This is the Quarantine Management Institute. I'm Chris McCusker, and welcome to another episode. At the Quarantine Management Institute, we are learning to learn in new ways together. This episode concerns the survival stage of a crisis. In a previous episode, we talked about the four stages of a crisis situation, pre-crisis, survival, recovery, and renewal. We're in the survival stage. Uh, this is very important um, that we uh, recognize we're in this particular stage and focus on activity which is appropriate for this stage. I'm going to offer my own opinion uh, as, a, as a PhD in psychology uh, he, and, and, and a professor for 30 odd years. Uh, here's what I think, but I'm humble about my views. Let's, um, let's have a conversation. Please share your comments about what you think this survival stage is about. Uh, and um, I'm happy to engage in that conversation. Uh, here's some tips. I don't know if you can read this. <laughs> these are tips uh, for uh, the survival stage. Uh, we'll go through these and um, start the conversation. Uh, tip number one, stay in the here and now. We're in the survival stage. We're not in the recovery stage. We're not in the renewal stage. We're in the survival stage. So let's focus on what's happening now. There's time uh, down the road uh, to worry about options with recovery, uh, there's times down the road to um, do the activity we're supposed to do when we renew, which is evaluate who did what and who said what. Um, number two, it's all about people. It's all about the well-being of people. I think during the survival stage, uh, we should all focus on how do we keep ourselves safe? How do we keep our kids safe? How do we keep our loved ones safe? That's all. That's all we need to focus on. We don't need to be distracted with other concerns. Um... It's about people and the well-being of people. Focus like a laser beam on that and not getting distracted by other uh, issues. Uh, in the survival stage, and we're going to talk about this in a subsequent episode, leaders are supposed to be autocratic. I'm here in Chicago, and uh, we have an excellent mayor. Uh, mayor Lori Lightfoot has been doing a great job. She has been very autocratic and has said, get off the streets. And if you're not off the streets, we're going to give you a fine. And, you know, some people, you know, I've been hearing um, our, uh, the feathers are a little bit ruffled from that. Um, let's remember, in a crisis situation, leaders are supposed to be autocratic. That's something we will analyze um, in greater depth in a, in a subsequent episode on leadership. Number four, we need to be listening to experts, not TV personalities. Uh, Dr. Fauci, for example... Is an expert. Oops, 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 oops. Hold on, folks. Hold on. <laughs> Epic fail. Dr. Fauci is an expert on uh, infectious diseases. I'm going to listen to what he says. Um, a TV fa personality um, disagreeing with Dr. Fauci is not as credible. So we need to pay attention to expertise. Um, I think uh, there are some per TV personalities who are doing a great job asking questions. Uh, but I've noticed a couple times a little bit of an overstep. Uh, I myself feel like I've become an expert on the COVID-19 virus. I'm an expert, and I'm going to tell you, you know, so let's, let's be humble about our own expertise, and let's really try to listen to those who are actually experts who've spent their lifetime studying infectious diseases. Um, uh, number five, information is equivocal, incomplete, and changing. Remember the duck rabbit? That's what we're looking at. And we're looking at a partial duck or a partial rabbit and it's changing holy cow was a duck a minute ago now it's a goose you know what's going on so we have to recognize that our leaders are coping with a very difficult information environment we ourselves are coping with a very difficult information environment and we've got to do our best to uh, learn and keep learning but we've got to recognize that information is changing therefore opinions will change advice will change direction will change where are we now let me see number six Avoid stressful conversations. Probably not the best time to start talking about abortion or tweeting about abortion or uh, gun rights or the prison state or, you know, some of these society and the environment. Look, put the environment on, on hold for a minute. Uh, we need to get through this crisis. We're in the survival stage. Uh, it's not a time. And by the way, during the survival stage, we're stressed out. We're watching this horrible uh, scene unfold every day, uh, this drama, 
Uh, like Bruce Springsteen said, it's Groundhog Day. We're doing the same day over and over again. And guess what? It's the same bad news over and over again. It has an effect on us. There's stress, a background layer of stress that we're all dealing with. Let's not um, debate um, the direction of our society at this moment. I don't think we're going to have a, a constructive exchange. We're going to end up blowing up at each other and hurting each other's feelings and saying things we re regret. Uh, let's not do that. Um, number seven, no blame game. Look, I enjoy the blame game as much as the next person. And, and if we go head to head in the blame game, I will win. I'm a champion. This is not the time to play that game. Do not play the like, when did Trump know what he knew next to the screen and all that nonsense. Stop. The governor uh, calling out the president and the president talking about the governor. Stop. Uh, family members um, disagreeing with each other about whose fault it is that we don't have toilet paper. Look, stop. Here's where we are. Let's do what we can and do the best we can. Uh, blaming uh, each other and blaming leaders for where we are right now at this stage is not important. We will get to the, play, to the blame game. Just not right now. This is the survival stage. Let's worry about that later. Let's play that game later. Lastly, it's all about health and balance. We've got to make healthy choices. You know, how many bags of potato chips can I eat in a day? Uh, quite a few, actually, but that's probably not the best thing for my stress. Um, let's get, you know, fresh air. I mean, I'm not an expert on stress. There's some great YouTube videos on stress. You can, you can do yoga. You got those videos. But I think um, in my own experience, I'll share in the next episode some of the things that I've been doing, or one thing uh, that I've been doing to uh, relieve stress, and that's um, between you and me, singing, singing karaoke. So stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Chris McCusker.